Hi everyone! Today, I will show you how to make gourmet bangus, Spanish-style sardines. It is a very quick and easy step-by-step -step procedure and anyone can do this at home at pwede rin po itong gawing negosyo. For this recipe, we will be using bangus or milkfish. Pag wala po kayong bangus, pwede rin po kayong gumamit ng ibang klaseng isda. So tara, umpisahan na po natin! So, ang una po natin gagawin ay kakaliskisan po natin yung isda. I prefer it this way kasi po, usually yung mga dumidumi sa dagat ay naka-insert po dun sa mga in-between ng kaliskis ng isda. But it's all up to you. Pwede rin nyo pong huwag kaliskisan yung isda. Scales intact. And then, gupitin po natin ang mga palikpik at buntot ng bangos. At saka po natin ngayon, slice into pieces. Pagkatapos pong mahiwa-hiwa or hatiin ang ating bangus, ay alisin naman po natin ang bituka or ang laman loob ng ating bangus. And then, huhugasan naman po natin ang mga bangus slices under running water. Pagkatapos po natin hugasan, ay bubudburan po natin ngayon ng asin or salt ang ating mga bangus slices. And leave it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, ilalightly pan sear po natin ang ating bangus sa isang pan with oil. Less oil lang po ito ha. Basta ang purpose lang po nito is maging firm po yung laman ng bangos. Pero wag po natin i-overcook kasi magiging matigas naman siya masyado. And then another step na gagawin po natin ay i-dip po natin yung mga bottles and lids sa boiled water to sterilize. Slightly sterilize lang po siya. Okay. And now, pwede na po natin i-prepare ang mga ibang ingredients or samya-samya para sa ating Spanish sardines. So, we have carrots, garlic, and we have olives, capsicum or bell pepper, and ang ating pong bay leaves. And we will also need olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And we also have the uh, whole black pepper. And then we have the pickles. And we also have, so that's still pickles, we also have the green olives, okay? And I forget to mention, maglagay rin po kayo ng red bird's eye chilies or siling labuyo. At least dalawa or tatlo inside the bottle, okay? And now, we will fill the bottle with the bangus and other ingredients. Please use a tong or wash your hands thoroughly before doing this, okay? It's very important because you are handling um, food. Pero this is for my personal consumption. So, I, I washed my hands before I did this one. This is for our personal consumption. Kaya okay lang po yan. But if it's for business, please use gloves or tongs when preparing your sardines. Okay, now, we will be using extra virgin olive oil. So, lalagyan po natin ang mga bottle ng olive oil. If you fill up lang po natin sila. So, make sure na nakasubmerge po yung mga ingredients nyo. Okay, hayan po. 
And then, i-cover naman po natin ang ating bottles tightly with the lids, okay? And now we will be using a pressure cooker, okay? So we will place all the bottles inside the pressure cooker. Okay, so isa-isahin po natin yan. Ayan, so maglalagay naman po tayo ng tubig and make sure na yung tubig is hanggang dun lang po sa below the neck of your bottle, okay? At iluluto na po natin ang ating mga sardines. So, switch on high flame. High flame po hanggang sa kumulo na po yung tubig. And then once na mag-start na po siyang mag-whistle, ang ating pressure cooker, i so switch naman po natin into lowest flame. So hayan, lowest flame po siya for the next 4 hours. So heto na after 4 hours, hahayaan lang po natin ang ating um, pressure cooker and the sardines na lumamig. Ayan. So malamig na po siya and then aalisin na po natin siya sa pressure cooker. And then, medyo oily po yung bottle. So, just wash them under um, running hot water lang po siya. Or punasan niyo po ng um, clean cloth. Okay, so ayan na po. You can surely make this one as your home business din. So, eto na. It's super yummy and super lambot po ng kanyang tinik. So, wala po kayong mafe-feel na tinik pag gumawa po kayo ng bango sardines. So, hopefully may natutunan po kayo ngayon sa aking video. And thank you for watching!